Welcome to Showcase Richmond, I'm Chip Tarkenden. An amazing annual celebration of the arts will kick off this spring all across Virginia in a campaign that's called Minds Wide Open. And the focus of the inaugural four-month celebration will be on the role of women in the arts. Making this spotlight possible is the Richmond Metropolitan Convention and Visitors Bureau to tell us about the exciting campaign and how the Richmond Ballet is contributing is my friend Stoner Winslet. Great to have her in here. She's the artistic director of the Richmond Ballet. Love it when I'm around you because you're so much fun. She let me dance in the Nutcracker years ago. I'll never hear the end of it because I was terrible. Tell us about the Minds Wide Open and how the theme of women was chosen. Well, I wasn't involved in choosing it, but um, they've, they've talked to me a lot since they've chosen it. I think it was because they felt it was a first-time festival and it was a very inclusive theme. And the timing of it, it opens during March, which is Women's History Month, and goes through Garden Week and Mother's Day um, time through May. And they just thought it would be good to focus on women. What does Richmond Ballet have planned for, for the Minds Wide Open event? Because I love it when y'all are involved. Oh, thank you. Well. It actually is um, my 30th anniversary as artistic director at the Richmond Ballet, so that's a coincidence that, that comes together. And so um, in April and May, we're going to do a piece of mine called Windows. And it's interesting because I first choreographed it when I was at college, at Smith College, which is a women's college in Northampton, Massachusetts. And over the past 30 years at Richmond Ballet, it has evolved and changed a great deal. But um, the last section of it was done on my 20th anniversary 10 years ago. And this is a revival of the whole piece. The Glass Slipper is sailing April the 28th at Richmond Center Stage. And, and some of the names of some of these people are going to be here. I mean, it's unbelievable. We've got a great list of folks coming into town. Yeah, it's really exciting. Um, there was an article in 2007 in the New York Times that featured the 38 major ballet companies in the United States. And out of those, only four are directed by women directors. And we think of ballet as such a feminine thing and little girls going to ballet lessons and all of that there's a lot of question in the field about why if they're 38 major companies only four of them are run by women so actually since 2007 one of those companies has gone by the wayside in this bad economy so there are only three left with um, budgets of over two million dollars so we invited those three directors it's myself um, Dorothy Gunther Pugh from Ballet Memphis and Victoria Morgan from Cincinnati Ballet. And then we included Suzanne Farrell because she's up in Washington and has a company there based at Kennedy Center. And Celia Fushil from um, Michael Smeelan's company in San Francisco. A reminder of where Richmond Center stage is because it's a lot has changed in the entertainment complex down there. And it is, it's including so much now. I mean, it used to just not be so big. Now it's, it's got everything involved. There's just a right. bunch of places. Tell That's us a little bit wonderful. about the complex. Oh, it's just wonderful. We love being there. The old Carpenter Center is now called the Carpenter Theater. And um, it's similar in feel in the audience. It's what it used to be, except you have bars and restrooms for intermission. And the feel backstage is completely different with dressing rooms and deep stage and that sort of thing. And and then there's the Gottwald Playhouse and the Rhythm Hall. And um, if you haven't been, you really owe it to yourself. It's a great resource for this community. You mentioned Windows, a ballet that you choreographed. We're taking a look at some pictures. These are absolutely gorgeous. And, and the piece obviously has grown and probably changed a little bit over the years. Oh, tremendously. <laughs> tremendously. Um, this particular picture is um, of a section of Windows that we actually did at the grand opening of the new Richmond Center stage. Mm -hmm. But we're going to do the entire piece, which is just an hour long. Long, but it visits ballet during the major eras of development. The first section is the French Romantic Ballet and the Long Tutus, and the second section is the Russian Classic Ballet and the Short Tutus, and then there's a unitard section, and then this final section was done, as I said, almost 10 years ago in honor of the new millennium. It's wonderful. All right, don't forget to check out all the events for the wide, uh, wide open event, Richmond Ballet's Glass Slipper Ceiling and minds wide open the windows I, I, it is going to be just there's so much going on it is phenomenal also check out visit richmond.com for a list of events happening in the richmond area and stoner winkland is always it's just great to be around you you're so much fun to be around thanks for coming in and being a part of showcase richmond oh thanks for having me